This is an email by Bud Sant, and Bud wants to know this. How does the Northern Hemisphere's high proportion of land mass affect the Earth's rotation? Ooh. Yeah, so here, here, the, the, what, what's the fellow's name? This is Bud Sant. Bud knows that most of the land of the Earth is in the Northern Hemisphere. It's like 80% of the land yeah, is in the yeah. Northern Hemisphere. And by the way, about 80% of the population the human population is in the northern hemisphere as well. Right. So we tend to live where the land is. <laughs> <laughs> Help us, Aquaman! <laughs> just, just an <laughs> FYI on that one. So Earth has a rotation rate that is endowed by the distribution of matter on our surface and throughout the solid ball. All right. If you were to change the distribution of matter, Mm -hmm. If you were to move continents from the northern hemisphere into the south, towards the equator, away from the equator, you will change what's called the moment of inertia of the Earth. The moment of inertia That's, it's a physics term. of the Earth. If you change the moment of inertia, Earth rotation rate will change with it. Okay. And, by the way, skaters do this. When they pull their arms in, they are changing their own moment of inertia. And what happens to their rotation rate? They go faster. They go faster. faster. And, by the way, how do they stop? They put their arms out. Back out, and they can stop on a dime. Right. Right? They change their rotation rate by bringing their arms in or out. If you move continents towards the equator, away from the equator, into the southern hemisphere, towards the northern hemisphere, you are changing the moment of inertia. Our rotation rate will change. And you can calculate how much we change after every earthquake. Because an earthquake is a redistribution of the of the continental shelf. Wow. Yeah. And so we would actually change our days and nights. The and length everything. of the day. You can make it longer or shorter, longer depending, or shorter on, depending on, on the moment of inertia it, change. Exactly. In fact, melting glaciers changes our, the rotation rate of the Earth. What? Yep. Yeah, because you have mass in one location and then it melts and moves to another location on Earth. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. Wow, man. They all, they also change the rotation rate because the glaciers are on land. And so not only will the, ma the mass redistribute, it also moves from high altitude to so sea, sea level. level. Okay, so now you're changing how far away the matter is from the rotation axis of the Earth. All this conspires to influence our rotation rate. I, you know what, I gotta tell you, I never thought you would give that much information from that From that question, question. <laughs> okay. <Jeez. laughs>